There is a major development tonight involving billionaire financier Jeffrey Epstein, already a convicted sex offender whose plea deal in a case more than a decade ago is currently the subject of a bitter feud between Congress and the Justice Department. Well, now the Miami Herald is reporting a woman is claiming she and her then teenage sister were sexually assaulted by Epstein and a female companion in 1996. This story, story also includes serious accusations against one of Epstein's attorneys, Harvard Law School professor emeritus Alan Dershowitz. Correspondent Phil Keating is in Miami tonight with this breaking news and what we're learning. Good evening, Phil. Good evening, Brett. Virginia Dufree, who has long accused famed attorney Alan Dershowitz of sexually assaulting her, all as part of Jeffrey Epstein's alleged sex trafficking operation more than a decade ago in Florida, in New York, and the Bahamas, has now filed a defamation complaint in federal court this afternoon in New York. And part of her complaint includes a sworn affidavit by a new victim, somebody who has never gone public before. Epstein, of course, is the multimillionaire financier who lived in vast mansions, not only in New York, Palm Beach, and Bahamas. He received a widely criticized and controversial plea deal from then U.S. Attorney of South Florida, Alex Acosta, who is now President Trump's labor secretary. And that deal is under renewed congressional scrutiny. The new victim is Maria Farmer, who claims that when she was 26, she was employed by Epstein in New York and that she frequently saw school-age girls wearing uniforms coming into the mansions and go upstairs. And she was told at the time they were auditioning for modeling work. She claims that she and her then 15-year-old sister were also molested by Epstein and his companion, Ghislaine Maxwell, back in 1996. Under Epstein and the government's controversial deal, Epstein pleaded guilty to two prostitution charges and served 13 months in the county jail, despite overwhelming evidence that he had assaulted dozens of girls. During Attorney General General William Barr's confirmation hearing, Nebraska Senator Ben Sass asked Barr to commit to a full investigation into exactly how the Department of Justice handled this case. But, uh, you know, I will say that if, if I'm confirmed, I'll make sure your questions are answered on this case. February, a federal judge ruled that the non prosecution agreement violated the Crime Victims' Rights Act at the time. Dershowitz has railed against Jeffrey's claims of rape and sexual assault against her. He says she's lying, says he never met her. We just spoke with him on the phone. He says he welcomes this lawsuit and he will prove that Jeffrey is perjuring herself. Brett? We'll follow it. Phil Keating live in Miami. Phil, thanks.